winning is obviously very important to you. Now, winning for winning's sake is important. But do you like to beat another man? Yeah, I do. Yes, I like to beat another man. <laughs> well, you smile about it. You like to crush another man's ego? Uh-huh. 72% of you are not subscribed. Subscribe. All right, do it. All right, welcome back to Budget Cuts. Stop showing the packs. The fuck am I doing? We're not starting there. All right, here's the team. Team is kind of, uh, you know, you know, shit. It's kind of shit. We got two silvers still in the lineup. Two, no, we have three silvers still in the lineup. Two golds, three diamonds, still have bronzes on the fucking bench. Also, no, actually got upgraded. Never even realized that he went from a 69 to a 70. He's got plus 20 today. Oh my god, that is disgusting, dude. It's actually like filthy. We got a silver still in our rotation. Pretty much our entire, like, we have one silver in the bullpen and everybody else are bronzes. This is a problem and we need to fix it. How are we going to do that? We're going to open these packs today. I got a ton of packs. Did what you, uh, what some people call a little bit of off camera grinding. But that's what we do here. We do we, we do stuff off camera, we get the packs off camera, and then I show all the packs afterwards. We got all these tops now. We got this third inning pack, which right now I'm thinking Yasmani Grandal, but there could be a better catcher somewhere else. We got this kitchen sink two pack, which has got some filthy cards in it. And I and if we do get base run, I think David Robertson is an easy choice because we do need that pen help. Um, we got a live series diamond pack, which is a one in 10 chance for 90 plus. We have a headliners pack that guarantees us one of these cards. This is going to be good. We're guaranteeing ourselves some diamonds. We got the new set 20 headliners with the new Anthony Rizzo. And we also have one set three headliners and 17 standards. We have a ton of packs, boys. That's all I'm going to say. We have a ton of packs. Let's open this real quick at our silver Justin Upton. Uh, ball player pack. I will take whatever. It doesn't really matter. We also have this evolution pack. Now I'm going to get this out of the way right now. I'll tell you how this is going to work. Evolution packs. Take this Jason Giambi. All I'm going to be doing is moments for are packs and stubs. His 85. This year, I'm making the rule. I can't use him. Sure, the bronze originates from a pack. But at the end of the day, those upgraded versions do not come out of packs. Sure, the original card does, but still, the card that I'm going to use does not originate from a pack. Basically, all I'm saying is, I don't have to open a pack to get the card. That's it. So, he does not count. Alright, 17 standards. Let's see if we can pull a diamond here to start. Let's see if we can just get right into a diamond pull. I am curious what's going to happen. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a little lucky here with a diamond pull. That's really all we want from these packs right now. Unless they give us like a gold bullpen piece. I'd be happy with that. A gold bullpen piece is enough for me. Even hell, even a silver bullpen piece. There we go. Even that is enough for this team. Uh, we'll take out Pedro Baez. He's kind of basic. Ten more. Here's silver right there. Andrew Benintendi, he does not make the team. Nine more. Nothing there. Silver Will Smith. Okay, okay. We have Oliver Perez and Matt Strom for lefties. So we need another lefty in here. I do like to have three lefties exactly. So we'll take out Lucas Sims. Seven more. Get a gold, Adolis Garcia. We already have his diamond card in the lineup, so not going to be taking that. Trey Mancini actually probably should have put him on the <coughs> on the bench. My God, that just came out of nowhere. Three more. Come on, show me some blue. Ah, we're not getting, we're not getting diamonds out of the standards. Damn. Been a while since they pulled the diamond out of the standard pack. It has been a little bit. All right, uh, flashbacks. Oh, yeah, we do have this pack, too, that actually has Gary Sanchez in it. Shit. Do I want Craig Kimbrell for the pen, or do I want Gary Sanchez for behind the plate? I kind of want Yasmani Grandal more than Gary. I do. I'm not going to act like I don't. We do have a catcher here of Young Gomes, but I don't really like the Young Gomes. Uh, don't have a catcher here. No catcher here. No catcher here. 
and I don't think there's even a catcher in here either. So it's looking like, yeah. Also, I did get some of these packs, like the Ryan McMahon did actually end up getting his card. Uh, found a way to do it. All I had to do was do the Player of the Month programs. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and take Craig Kimbrell for the bullpen. Fuck it. I think he's the better choice. Just because I'd rather have yes Money Grand Doll behind the plate. I think I'd like his swing just a bit more. Switch hitting too. And he's got very good fielding. Opening weekend pack. Uh, I don't think either of these cards actually make it to our team. Or none of these guys do, that's for fucking sure. I guess I'll take a kill by do. We'll put Earman on the bench, I guess, for Aaron Hicks. And actually, you know what? A kill by Duke can go to the bench. He can go to the bench. For uh, Jorge Soler. Alright. Next pack, we got Ryan McMahon. Easy choice. We're just going to get an upgrade there. Probably Dylan Carlson rather than Brent, Brent Honeywell Jr. I don't really want Brent Honeywell Jr. I think I'll get better rotation pieces through these stop down packs than Golds. So I don't really need to go ahead and get that. So we're upgrading Ryan McMahon. And we can actually put Dylan Carlson in a corner piece of the outfield. But I'm going to put him on the bench for now because I do think we're about to upgrade outfield with just better cards. Cesar Hernandez. I do like Cesar Hernandez. I actually like a lot of the cards here. I like a lot of the cards here. I like Cesar and I like Jake Cronenworth. I like both of these guys a lot. <sighs> Shit. I like both of them, but I also want outfield help. But I also don't know what my infield actually looks like. I don't remember. I don't remember my second baseman or shortstop. I don't remember my third baseman even. I don't remember those. Th third baseman's Patrick Wisdom. He's not getting replaced. Second and short, though. Who's at second and short? This is tough. Because Randy Rosarena could be a very good pick for the outfield, but at the same time, if I don't get a good middle infield, I'd rather have these two. I think I'm going to take Cesar Hernandez, because he's a bit different. Really haven't used him, but I want to. And then we're also going to take Randy Rosarena. Here, it just looks like the better hitting is this guy, so I'll take him. So our middle infield was Gavin Lux... And Eduardo Escobar. That was our in, that was our infield. Okay. So that really wasn't a bad choice. So we can go ahead and put you at Gavin Lux's spot. And I guess you on the bench. For Miguel Sano. He can come off the team. Let's mess around with the team a bit. There's a bit of uh, mixing up we have to do here. We have a left fielder. Like literally left field. Uh, yeah, a ton of player of the month cards here now. Uh, Gavin Lux can replace Kill Badu. He's kind of just a better version of him. Okay, so that's our team right now. Let's keep on opening these packs. So right here, right here I'm thinking Robbie Grossman and Freddy Peralta. I don't really like Rich Hill. He doesn't have any overpowering stuff. And Alec Manoa just ain't good either. So we're going to take Freddy Peralta. And Robbie Grossman here. I guess we'll take whoever. I don't know. I'll probably just end up selling this down the line when I need a card. Or need stubs. Okay, so we just got Freddy Peralta. Let's add him to the rotation. He is actually our ace now. Our sideways card art though. God, I hate that stuff. And then we got 88 Robbie Grossman who can play all of the outfield. So we'll put him in right field. His fielding is decent. So I guess he'll be able to handle himself out there. So he'll stay in the right field corner slot. Here we got, ooh, but then we get this man. Then we get this man, Mike Tockman the Sockman. A man I want to take. I like him a lot. I'm going to take him. And I also want Anthony Desclafani. I want both Giants players. I like both of them. And then here, we're going to go ahead and take Jake, or Jake Fraley. Luke Williams. This is Jake Fraley. I want to take Luke Williams here. He's got some good hitting stats against lefties. So we'll go ahead and mess with the team again. And here, I think I'm just going to go ahead and take out Robbie Grossman. I think he's the worst out of everyone here. I think that is an easy choice. He can go play right field. His fielding's decent. He should be able to hit himself out there. 
Uh, out of everybody on the bench, I probably want to take out Pete Alonso. He's probably the least guy I'm going to go to. He has the most power, probably, but at the end of the day, he's probably my least favorite. Uh, because he, he doesn't really excel with contact and power against one end. He's kind of just balanced. Here, I'm going to take out your min. I'm going to take out your mean to bring in Robbie Grossman, who's a good switch hitter for the bench. Okay. Last pack. This is the very new one. I don't really know who I want out of this. Well, I know a few guys. I want Ryan Mountcastle. That is an easy, easy choice. I want Taiwan Walker. Very good rotation piece. The last part is the toughest. I have Christian Arroyo as an option. Very good fielding. Middle infielder. He's got some just insane hitting stats. L Tyler Molly. Splitter, curveball, slider, four seam. Very fast pitcher, too. And I do like Tyler Molly quite a bit. We also got Ha Seung Kim, who's a shortstop second baseman, third baseman. Not really a fan of this one as much. It's a bit too balanced. You know, it doesn't really excel in a damn thing. And then Jan Gomes. I want Jan's money, Grandel. I'm leaning towards Christian Arroyo, but there's, uh, it's just tough because I do like Tyler Molly, too. I do like Tyler Molly quite a bit. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to take Tyler Molly here. Just increase that rotation strength. Just make it a stronger rotation. Let's go ahead and take you for left. Well, you can play left. You can play third and first. Okay, we'll figure him out in a sec. Here, I'm going to go ahead and take out Corey Kluber. Uh, he's my least favorite out of everyone here in the rotation. I like Tarek Skubal quite a bit. He's doing very good for me so far. So if anyone's going out, yes, it is uh, Corey Kluber. Okay, so you can't play shortstop. You can't play shortstop. And you could play second. You could, okay, perfect. Okay, that works out. Eduardo's coming out of the lineup. He's doing very solid. But I'm more comfortable with Ryan McMahon. His contact's a bit lower. You know, he's just a guy who's just not going to stay in this lineup. He's a better, he's kind of just a better Dylan Carlson when I look at it. It's really what he is. So Ryan Mountcastle can go ahead and play first. He's got the weaker fielding, but he's got insane, insane hitting stats. So he's going to look pretty nice out there at first. So there we go. So the team is improving a ton, but we still have a ton of very good packs to open up. Very good packs to open up. That team is looking insane. We went from bronzes, silvers, and golds. We have no gold competition anymore. We have all diamonds in the lineup now. Dude, this team's insane. So this is looking pretty good for me. So, we're going to go ahead and open the headliners first. Because they're the ones that don't guarantee nothing. The other ones guarantee good stuff. They guarantee good stuff. So we're going to have to go ahead and open these first. So we pulled nothing out of the one headliner. But this is where this is where the juicy stuff shows up. This is where it's like, hey, come on. Let's pull a dime. We got five of them. Headliners have not been good to me so far. So let's get a good pull here. Let's get a good pull. Now, before I open this, actually, I do I am gonna decide to pull probably Kitchen Sink 2 pack first, because the regular diamond pull it can be a bit more hype on the headliner if I pull a diamond there. Well, this is guaranteed and it can end up being base round, which is pretty lame. So we're gonna open Kitchen Sink 2. Let's see if we can get rare. Holy shit, we got rare round. Oh my god, I actually got ran around. I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay, we're probably taking Evan Longoria. Evan Longoria is my favorite out of everyone here. For G. Jenkins, he's he just gets lit up. He's, he's an easy card to hit. He just is. I was thinking maybe it's different this year because the fork ball seems to fill the air. Nah, nah, I'm still people. I'm, I still slap off him. People still just absolutely rake off him. He would be our ace easily, but he just doesn't look like he is actual ace material. While Evan Longoria is just kind of insane. So Patrick Wisdom is actually probably, where's he going to go? Right field, huh? Does he play over Talkman? Or do I give Talkman at least a game? Mm, that's tough. Patrick Wisdom's a pretty filthy card. Yeah, Patrick Wisdom's going to get playing time over Mike Talkman. Mike Talkman's just going to go to the bench. Gavin Lux gets replaced because he is just a better Gavin Lux. And Evan Longoria goes to third. So now we have a 96. Pretty elite card over there at third base. Pretty elite card. Very, very balanced, but very, like, good stats still. All right. Five headliners. 
Let's see if we can get lucky here. We pull a gold. Nothing crazy though. Pull one more. Pull a gold again. Nothing crazy. Three more. Two silvers. Come on. Two more. Justin Turner, Anthony Desclafani, Trevor May. You can go to the bullpen for Jonathan Lusega. Last one. We get the jersey. Get a gold. Man. Dude, these packs are not treating us well. These headliners, they are not treating us well. Thank God we got a guaranteed headliner pack. Which do I save? This one for last, or do I save this one for last? That's the question. Does this have a higher chance for me to really get something I that is insane, or does this? No, it's the headliners. The headliners is gonna guarantee something insane. Live series, it can be pretty bad. So we're gonna open it first. It might be somebody insane. It might be somebody terrible. We got a purple. It's somebody pretty bad. Uh, who is that though? I don't even know who that is. I can't tell. Oh. That's not somebody bad. That's a fucking 64k card. Fuck, that's good. But he does. You know what's insane? He is worth that much and doesn't make the team. He doesn't make the team. That's insane. He makes it to the fucking bench, and he's worth that much. Oh my God. I low-key want to put him in center. He's got a plus 12 upgrade today. He's got great fielding. I might put him in over Adolis Garcia. Who's raking though? Oh, do I do it? Do I do it? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Let's just open this headline and see what happens because we might just end up getting an outfielder here that's easily better than both of them. We could easily end up getting like Cliff Floyd, Mickey Mantle. Oh, I love a Mickey Mantle. But I love a Pedro Martinez, Carlos Santana, Brian Robert. Dude, this. Dude, I'm happy with pretty much everybody I get out of this. We get a jersey, Twins jersey. I don't even know what Twins card is in this stuff, but let's let's just see what we get. Oh shit, that could be Pedro. That could be Bob Gibson. That's looking like Pedro. I think that's Pedro. Pedro Martinez. That is a good pull. I will take it. He can go in for, you know what? My least favorite card here is Freddy Peralta. I don't like Freddy Peralta if anybody there. So I will go ahead and take out Freddy Peralta. Keep this rotation looking the way it does. Oh my god, dude. This, this team is just spiked in fucking skill level. This team is insane now. We have a 94 as our ace. We only have two bronzes in our bullpen now. When we only had one silver in our bullpen before. And our entire lineup is just stacked. We even fucking pulled Cody Bellinger, who eventually is easily not even going to make it to the bench. And we could sell him for a ton of stubs. He's going to be a guy who's worth a ton, and we could just easily sell for a ton of packs. That is perfect. It's actually a perfect pull. Wow, I like this team. I like the look of it. So currently, right now, I don't know who I want to play center. I, 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 I want to give Adolis Garcia another game, see how he does. If Adolis Garcia keeps it up, he's going to be staying in the lineup. If he struggles a bit, then I'll think about it. Uh, but I do still like him at the leadoff spot because he does have a ton of speed. Like, 81 speed is very, very good. But we'll have Evan Lagori hit third. We'll have Brian Mancastle at fifth. Patrick Wisdom and Randy Rosarena, Cesar Hernandez, over Yasmani Grandal. Yeah, okay, this works. I'll actually have Cesar Hernandez at second. I find Ryan McMahon more in a spot. He should be more in a spot of like hitting a Grand Slam than Cesar Hernandez, if anybody. Cesar Hernandez has the speed still. He's got a lot of contact on both ends. He's a switch hitter. He's kind of perfect for a second leadoff man. All right, well, let's get into a game and see how this team can do. I'm excited. Let's give Pedro Martinez that debut and all these guys. This is a good fucking team now. He's got the new Bob Gibson. He's got the 95 Bob Gibson while we got Pedro. Damn, okay. He probably got him from the flash sale. Oh, that might be a bomb. Cesar Hernandez hits a home run. Solo shot. Gives me a fastball right down the middle. Just give me an easy lead right there. Good swing by Cesar, though. 
Oh, that stayed fair and it's a hit? I don't even know that stays as a hit. Wow. There we go. It's a walk for Ryan Mountcastle. Bring up Grendel. Get down. That's going to be second run of the game. All right, Ismana Grendel brings in a run off a single. 2-0. Two, uh, two no. Oh, my God. Come on. Get over his head. He got lucky there. He got lucky by that being caught. Oh, nice play, Longoria. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. Already showing off the glove over there at third base. That's a base hit down line. That's extra bases. All right, I'll take that double. Walks me. That's a really good at bat. Holy shit. Just don't be a double play. He threw to second. Oh. That is huge. That is huge. Evan Longoria with a bit hit. I'm going to drive him in. Fuck it. Let's have him done. That's two runs driven in by Evan Longoria. For nothing. Hitters fucking count. I don't know why you are running back. That is clearly a fucking hit. Okay, I guess we're driving two in off that double. Six nothing. He's probably about to quit. Just based off the way he reacted to that. That's another walk for Mountcastle. Great at bat. That's a fucking extra base hit. Holy shit, we are slapping this game. That's another two runs. This Monday Grandall hits a two RBI double. We're up eight nothing. Popped him up. Let's go down the second inning. Let's go hit. Try and uh, end this game here in the third. Yeah. Walks me. Okay. Pedro's back up. Walked in his first at bat. Base hit. Wow. Okay. There you fucking go, Adolis. There you go. There you go, buddy. Keeping it together. That might be a home run. Holy shit, that is. Whoa. Wow. Okay. I, that's crazy. I did not think that was going to leave. God, McMahon, you are insane. He is so fucking good. McMahon, it's a perfect, perfect hit. All right. So he's one for one with two walks. That's a two-run shot. Are you kidding me? All over that. Perfect, perfect on the changeup. His third home run. That's not a good pitch. <sighs> if he got two of those with that guy, that would have been fucked. Let's triple with the Rosarena. And he gets another hit. Perfect, perfect. He throws a changeup right down the middle. And I got a hit. Holy shit. 16 nothing. Perfect, perfect. That's a double. All right, we got two on base for Mount. No, Cesar. Oh, we line out to end the inning. That's tough. 16 runs on 16 hits. Although I don't even think it's Bob Gibson's fault. It's his own fault. So now it's not three innings. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's Bob Gibson's fault of why he's getting lit up so badly. I mean, 81 pitches. You're starting the fourth. I mean, you're just not throwing strikes. When you do, they're bad. That's a base hit. I mean, a hanging changeup. Like, what? What's your plan with that? That might be a two-run shot. My God, it is. 
my god it is. Dude, this card's broken. That's a hit for Grendel. Keep him at first. He's not. He's not making it to second. Slow son of a bitch. It's basic for Rosa Reina. It's gonna be a double. Advancing his money grand double third. Pedro's coming up. He's having a good day at pitching and hitting. And that's gonna be the first time he gets out when he's slightly not on a pitch. And now I think the game's about to come to a close. And that's the last out of the game. We win it. Pedro's all of a sudden in the fucking dugout. Don't know how he got there so fast. But all right then. Game called due to mercy rule. Who gets player of the game, I wonder? Ryan McMahon. Deservedly. Four for four with two home runs and a double. He had a hell of a game. Uh, we got a lot of walks that game. Four. We only got four walks. It felt like so much more than that. We walked twice with, with um, Ryan Mountcastle. We walked once with Randy Rosarena. We walked once with the pitcher. Is that really it? Mountcastle walked. Martinez walked. Mountcastle walked. Rosarena walked. I thought I walked once with Grendel. I think I was just having solid at bats, and that's the only reason why I thought that. He gave up 20 hits and 18 earned runs across four innings. That is sad. Holy fuck. <laughs> that was just brutal. How much I just destroyed him. Power parallel upgrades are looking. Pedro is on his... God damn. Really? Only pitched four innings, but because he got two singles, an RBI, and a walk, and scored in both of those hits. More walk, I think he scored on. The, uh, and the complete game shutout. Wow. Our closest right now, though, is Patrick Wisdom. All right. Well, we're going to keep Adolis Garcia out there because he's still doing good at the end of the day. He's still hitting 556. He had a home run for us. Patrick Wisdom, of course, is going to stay out there, too, because he's raking himself. I mean, 1,600 OPS still. When he's got almost... When when this guy only has 100 more points and has almost double the average. So, shows how much power this man's hitting for. All right. So, we got some packs open for next video. But there will be plenty more. Don't worry. But alright boys, if that is going to do it for the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you did enjoy, subscribe more content like this. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.